Dear students today we are going to read and study vapor power cycle in the previous unit we had taught about the gas power cycle the major difference between gas power cycle and vapor power cycle is that that in gas power cycle working fluid is a gas and in vapor power cycle working fluid is a vapor vapor power cycle works on the external combustion engine cycle first let's see that what are the objectives of having this unit in this video after completing this video you will learn about simple steam power cycle carnot cycle rankine cycle and their comparison that what are the differences due to which rankine cycle are devised after carnot cycle next we will study about the losses in different components then reheat cycle regenerative cycle and binary vapor power cycle these are our objectives so let's start carnot cycle first let's see what is the simple steam power cycle what are the different components of steam power cycle here we are having a schematic diagram of simple steam power cycle in this cycle we are having boiler turbine condenser and pump let's see the process in different components process 4 to 1 process 4 to 1 is reversible isothermal heat addition in this process reversible isothermal heat addition heat is added isothermally one minute we are studying about the carnot cycle which is the uh, operating cycle for the st simple steam power cycle and uh, after few minutes we will discuss about the rankine cycle working on the simple steam power cycle so come back to the point process 4 to 1 in carnot cycle heat is supplied reversibly and isothermally and what is the heat added heat added is enthalpy at point 1 minus enthalpy at point 4 hf4 denoted the enthalpy of liquid because before entering to the boiler working fluid is in liquid state then process 1 to 2 process 1 to 2 is the adiabatic expansion of a steam in turbine so what is the work output of turbine that is h1 minus h2 it means enthalpy before entering to the turbine and minus enthalpy after exhausted turbine okay process 2 to 3 isothermal heat rejection so what is the heat rejection h2 minus h3 means enthalpy before entering to the condenser minus enthalpy after the rejection of heat at point 3 and process 4 to 1 adiabatic compression of the steam uh, i had told you all i had taught you all that pump is also a type of compressor every compressor is not a pump but every pump is a type of compressor which provides the uh, addition of pressure to the working fluid from pressure p2 to pressure p1 okay so what is the <coughs> work given to the pump h4 minus h3 because after uh, coming out from pump the pressure of working fluid is higher than entering to the pump okay so efficiency as we all know net work done upon heat supplied so net work done is a work done uh, by turbine minus work done upon the pump so h1 minus h2 minus h4 minus s3 upon heat supplied which is h1 minus h4 you can uh, write h1 minus hf42 f denoted the liquid state okay so we can write it to 1 minus h2 minus s3 upon h1 minus h4 this is the pv and ts uh, plot of carnot cycle the major things to note 
in the Carnot cycle, which is the limitation of Carnot cycle, is that, okay, let's see. Yeah, quite good. First, at point 3, condensate is both in the liquid and vapor state, which do not form a homogeneous mixture. At point 3, this is the point 3. At point 3, our condensate means uh, the working fluid after the condenser is in the both in the liquid and vapor state and due to uh, the working fluid is in the both in the liquid and vapor state mixture of liquid and vapor so mixture of liquid and vapor do not form a homogeneous mixture this is the major problem of Carnot cycle okay second pump work is too large our pump work is too large in Carnot cycle later we will see that in Rankine cycle pump work is too small that we can uh, neglect it. 